there. Welcome to Morning Anna. I'm just kidding. Welcome to Morning Manna. I'm Anna Wiggins, and I'm glad to be with you. Thanks for joining us today. Yesterday, we ended our time with Mark chapter 2, verse 27, where Jesus said, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So I have a question. Do you know when God made Sabbath? Remembering the Sabbath is one of the Ten Commandments. It was found in Exodus 20, but if you look up the word Sabbath in your Bible, the first time it appears is in Exodus 16, 23. That's when God gave the manna, and there's a whole thing. It's really, really cool. But that's the first time the word is used, but not the first time that Sabbath occurs. In order to see that, you have to go back to Genesis. On the sixth day of creation, God made mankind. Genesis 2, 7 says, Then the Lord formed the man of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Pause for just a moment. God spoke all of creation into existence, but he handcrafted. And then, with the very breath that spoke into existence and sustained the universe, after he handcrafted mankind, he breathed life into Adam. God made Adam on purpose for a purpose. Sound familiar, man of church? He was to rule over everything God created. Adam's work was laid out before him, and there was plenty of it to do. So you might expect that the next thing you see him do is to get to work right away, right? But in Genesis 2, 3, God instituted a different order to Adam's work. It says, So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. As the final activity of creation, God created Sabbath. On the seventh day, he stopped his labor. He blessed the day and called it holy, meaning set apart. Set apart from something and set apart for something. Set apart from the activities of his work and set apart for himself. God didn't need to rest, but Adam would need the type of rest and reset that is only found in the presence of God. So often, Sabbath is seen as a time to rest from our work, but God rested from his work. God commissioned Adam to work, but before Adam got to work, he rested with God on the Sabbath. For Adam, Sabbath wasn't a rest from his work. It was a rest for his work. Why is this order of things so important? Because Adam's identity and ours isn't in what we do, but in who we are. Sabbath invites us, as men and women made in the image of God, to fix our gaze on our perfect heavenly Father, our model, our example, our originator, and then set about the work he commissioned us to do. I'll see you tomorrow.